This is part 29 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to install and use Bootstrap with Angular and along the way, we'll also discuss how to enable IntelliSense for Bootstrap in Visual Studio. There are several options available to install Bootstrap. One of the options is by using Node Package Manager. To use Node Package Manager, click on Start and then within the program list, look for node.js folder. So as we scroll down, here we have the node.js folder. Expand that and here we have node.js command prompt. Right click on that and run it as an administrator. And within the command prompt, navigate to the folder where you have your Angular project. Our Angular project is present in C drive in a folder called Angular 2 demo. This is the solution folder and inside that we have another folder with the same name, Angular 2 demo, which is our project folder. So let's navigate to that folder and then here we have to type this command npm install. We want to install bootstrap version 3 and bootstrap has a dependency on jQuery so we are installing jQuery as well. So type this command right here and then press enter. Notice both bootstrap and jQuery are installed. As you can see we have bootstrap version 3.3.7 and jQuery version 3.2.1 installed. But where are these two installed? The node package manager installs them in the node modules folder. So let's flip over to Visual Studio. Here is the Angular solution that we have been working with so far in this video series. Within the solution explorer select the Angular project and then this icon show all files shows up. Make sure you select your Angular project and not the solution. If you select solution, the show all files icon will not show up. So select your Angular project and then click this icon, show all files. Notice we see the node modules folder and within this node modules folder, as we scroll down, we should see a folder called bootstrap into which bootstrap is installed. Here is that bootstrap folder. And as we scroll down further, we should also see jQuery folder and that's the folder into which jQuery is installed. Here is the jQuery folder. Now let's take a look at package.json file within our Angular project. Here is the package.json file and if you look at the dependencies property, notice it is automatically updated with dependencies on Bootstrap and jQuery. Notice we have a dependency on Bootstrap version 3.3.7 and jQuery version 3.2.1. So finally, within our index.html, we need to reference the required JavaScript and CSS files. So let's open index.html and we know bootstrap and jQuery are installed in node modules folder. So first let's reference jQuery because bootstrap has a dependency on jQuery. So here is the jQuery folder. Let's expand that. We go to the dist folder and then here notice we have jQuery.min.js. So let's reference this within our index.html page. So let's drag and drop it within our index.html. So when we drag and drop it, it will automatically generate the required script tag. We don't have to use these two dots. So we'll reference node modules just like how we have referenced it here. And let's do the same thing to reference the required bootstrap files, bootstrap.min.css and bootstrap.min.js. Now we are all set up to use bootstrap within our Angular project. So let's scroll down a bit within our index.html and within the body section, let's include a button element. The only issue we have at the moment is we don't have any bootstrap intelligence. Notice when I typed button and class and then when we press control space, notice none of the bootstrap CSS classes show up. So at the moment, we don't have bootstrap intelligence. Now to enable IntelliSense for Bootstrap installed using the Node Package Manager, there is a workaround. The workaround is to include the Bootstrap folder within our Angular project. So let's navigate to the Bootstrap folder within our Node Modules folder. At the moment, this folder is excluded from the project. So right click on this Bootstrap folder and then select this option from the context menu, Include in Project. So this is going to enable IntelliSense. Now notice when we type control space, 
all the Bootstrap CSS classes show up. Not just within our index.html, even within any of the component HTML files, we will have Bootstrap IntelliSense now. Let's quickly verify that. So let's navigate to our app folder and then to employee folder. And in here, we have our employee list component HTML file. So within the th element here, let's include a button element. And then when we type class, notice we have all the Bootstrap CSS classes shown up in the IntelliSense. At this point, if you still do not have IntelliSense, restart Visual Studio once and it should fix it. As I said before, there are several ways to install Bootstrap within Visual Studio. One way is by using the Node Package Manager, which we have just seen. The other way is by using NuGet Package Manager. Now to use NuGet Package Manager to install Bootstrap, right click on the project for which you want to install Bootstrap. And then from the context menu, select this option, Manage NuGet Packages. We have the NuGet Package Manager window open. At the moment, we are on the Installed tab. Let's go to the Browse tab and we want to browse for Bootstrap. Select the first option, Bootstrap, and then we can either click this icon here or this button right here to install. And this is going to install both Bootstrap and jQuery. This option copies the required Bootstrap and CSS files in three different folders within our Angular project. So we have the Contents folder, Fonts folder, and Scripts folder. So into these three different folders, it has copied the required CSS and JS files. Now, if we install Bootstrap using NuGet Package Manager, then we don't have to do anything special to enable IntelliSense. Since we have already installed Bootstrap using the Node Package Manager, I'm going to uninstall you know, Bootstrap and jQuery that we have installed using the NuGet Package Manager. To do that, simply click this Uninstall button. So this is going to uninstall only Bootstrap and not jQuery. So to uninstall jQuery, let's go to the Install tab. That's where we have all the installed packages. Let's delete Bootstrap from the text box. And here we have jQuery. And to uninstall jQuery installed by NuGet Package Manager, click this Uninstall button right here. And this is going to uninstall jQuery as well. Both these options that we have discussed just now downloads Bootstrap to our local machine and we then reference the downloaded JS and CSS files within our index.html page. If you do not want to download, then the other option that is available is to use the CDN links. To get the CDN links, navigate to this URL right here, getbootstrap.com forward slash getting started. And here you have the Bootstrap CDN links. We can reference these CDN links directly within our index.html page. So to install Bootstrap, you can use Node or NuGet Package Manager. There are other options available as well. Which way to use depends on your project needs. After Bootstrap is installed, reference the required CSS and JS files in index.html page. If you do not want to download Bootstrap, then you can use their CDN links. And here is the URL from where you can get the official Bootstrap CDN links. Thank you for listening and have a great day.